Hello, welcome to Timberborn and Arid Canyon. As we continue to work on our little community here, let's get started. beginning to think that we actually will use this district over here to supply lumber. Because this little lumber patch is not enough to feed the industrial base. So something new I'm learning this game because uh, I don't, we didn't have that problem in the planes playthrough, but you know, um, we also had a huge forest in, in that game. So and we don't hear. So I'm thinking that, yeah, we will actually need this to um, this district here to supply wood. And so with that, let's see, I'm going to plant maple trees right here. And that's just because, you know, I, I'm wondering if maybe the growth rate of the oaks, which is 30 days, and you get eight logs, as opposed to 28 days, you get six logs. So two more days, you get two more logs. Yeah, okay, the, the oak is, I guess, not I guess. It, it is the most efficient lumber producing tree. But with how long it takes to grow, I don't know if maybe that's one of the reasons we continue to run out of wood over here. Probably not, but I don't know. So I'm going to plant some maple there. See, see what it does, how it performs. In the meantime, we're going to come into here and we're going to say, where is logs? Import if needed. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to say, you know, 65. So exporting actually about 50 because again I don't know that we're going to really be using this much wood we're going to be building much more over here so they have six unemployed let's add another beaver into there but I think that means we can also take this down here and plant more trees so let's see can they still reach yes And it also means that we need to change the name. So it is arid mining. And can we use one of these special characters? Mining and timber. Hey, we can. All right. Arid mining and timber, because that's what they're doing now, providing that. Um, OK. Now what? Now what, turkey squat? Let's see, we built this over here. I 
So I'm thinking we can get rid of these guys here. Probably, probably shouldn't. Probably should keep them there for a while to see how things go during the drought. And then we don't have to rebuild them if we find out we actually needed them. Okay, so what else are these guys doing over here? Well, I think what we I think we need to build more explosive factories, which also means more paper mills. If we are my goodness got 54 beavers over here where are they all at of course 13 are dead well <laughs> five well 13 died five empty beds and eight kids replacing them so you know all right you guys have heard me complain enough about the death waves in this game let's see so I don't think we can do that we can somehow fit Yeah, we can't fit. More, you know, two more paper mills in here, but we can do this. And then we're going to come over here. I'm going to pause all this for a minute. But we'll, we will put in an explosive factory here. So I think we'll end up breaking this and raising this up so that we can do our road this way. Once we build this here. you yet
Okay. Get them started on that. Cover your ears. Well, I meant to only go here. Okay, get that all going there. Just easier to delete that for now so that we can unpause all of this stuff here. So we have 186 metal blocks, 115 gears, and no planks. I said, hey, let's Im let's export logs. And then I didn't put in the lumberjacks to get more logs. So they obviously have too many carrots. So we're going to go ahead and pause these, this farm over here. All right, cover your ears. Waiting on planks. Overdid it on planks. Unusing planks. And right here, we'll build a small. paper storage spot so that uh, you know dynamite the explosive factory has immediate access to paper I was gonna say he's just sitting there all right let's make some more gears and some steel blocks, metal blocks. Trout should be coming soon. We need more beavers the the need for beavers just never seems to stop never seems to stop
So it'll be a little bit before the chestnuts are ripe. And let's see, whenever we, so one chestnut converts into two. So it's not as proficient or efficient as the potatoes. But I mean, they're a good supplement and they add happiness, so yay. And so I'm thinking also, you know, if we build this guy up here, that then we're going to rename this guy even more. But it, it means that we probably need to add more population. And if we add more population, that means we're going to need to add another water pump. And if we add another water pump, that means that then we can go, we can build quite a few more um housing for beaver quite a few quite a bit more housing for beavers let me see if i get my grammar right um because then you know we can go up to at least a population of 40 39 or or 40 without exceeding the capacity of the two water pumps which i don't imagine will need to go up that high but it does mean that my previous complaints about you know the death waves practically wiping out this district's ability to do anything we can overcome because we can build surplus population now if we do that and I think that is one of the things we're going to do so one of the things that we will do is we're going to um, all right, so we do have import if needed. And we have, okay, export. We wanna keep at least 60% of our gears here because what we're gonna do is we're going to Build, 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 build. A large um, water storage. But what I'm trying to figure out is where. I think we temporarily, temporary. Move these guys. Okay, this is all keeping in plan with Zuzu Putz's 20 year plan. Well, 20 cycle plan for the beavers. They, they measure time based upon cycles and when the droughts come and go. Oh, almost. Oh, they're okay. There's some that are ready for picking. So let's create Can store sixty grilled chestnuts. Uh oh, starting to run out of 
Starting to run out of potatoes. But not grilled potatoes, so I think we'll be okay. Well, I may have to get rid of this guy. Yep. Because I can't put... I don't know why, what I was thinking there. Can't put... And that's, that is the right place, right? Yep. can't put my stairway there is what I was going to say. And this is going to be uh, grilled chestnuts. I think one of the things I'm learning in this playthrough... Uh-oh. Is that once again I forgot to uh, pay attention to the drought meter. And it's a seven day drought. Yeah, that probably means we're going to run out of water. I mean, not literally, but in these places we'll have to refresh. Because that's 1.40. 1. Yike a doodle, man. All right. Well, it is what it is. Um, so let's keep going. One of the things I was going to say is that, oh, this should be water. So it's not going to let, it's not going to bring in gears unless I build a spot for it. Huh? So, you know, it it's weird. It does this. I don't think I had to create a space for paper. So why can so maybe somebody could tell me why why does this sometimes just accept goods into here but other times not like I didn't have to build a paper storage spot to build my my beehive but I did have to build a an explosive storage spot to get them to bring in dynamite and um, now it seems like I have to build a storage space for them to bring in gears. We're just barely over the threshold maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Only 43 planks. Okay, well, we're going to wait a couple days. Make some more gears. See what happens. Because I, I don't know. That seems weird to me. We can pause you. We're at 180 metal blocks. Okay, uh, close, cover your ears.
Got our first uh, grilled chestnuts going in there. We're producing much less than what is needed. But not anymore. Yeah. No, oh, because nighttime and the wind's blowing, recharging the batteries. That's brilliant how that works. Let's let's build another one. Well, 40 gears. Uh, let's wait. So we're over now. We're we're over our threshold. So we should be exporting gears, but we're not. I don't know. What is up? What is up, devs? What is up, viewers? Maybe you can explain to me how come sometimes this building accepts product like this. Oh, it even accepted explosives there for a minute. But not always. Is it is it that maybe it's because it only accepts items in here temporarily if you have a place to store them. But I doubt that's the case because I'm pretty sure I've seen on other playthroughs where um Where they have, where as soon as they open this sucker, before they set the distribution, manage distribution stuff, it just filled it up with a bunch of garbage. Hmm. I don't know. Guess maybe that's what it. That's what it is. Cover years. Okay, well, that's all the time that we have left for this episode. We're going to go ahead and let the time run here so that we can get a shot during daylight hours, 0.37. And we tore down our steam gauge in this place. So we don't know what that level is. Okay. Well, that is all the time that we have for this episode, so hopefully you enjoyed it, and you'll come back and join us as we continue to work in our community here. Until then, have a terrific day.